everyone, I'm Janneke and welcome to my Flosstoop channel, Books and Stitches. It is currently the 7th of March, which is a little later than I wanted to film this video because I try to do it as close to the first of the month as possible. But my birthday was at the end of February and I was getting visitors in the beginning of March, including my brother and sister-in-law, and I knew I would get something cross-stitchy from them because the wish list I sent to them had only cross stitching things on it so i wanted to show you what i got from them so i'm filming this a little bit later just so i had gotten that already um yeah that's get started right uh that does mean that some of my march goals are already completed um if you're new here i have goals for each of my projects that i would like to get done within the month and then if i finish the month and i still have some time over i just stitch on whatever i want um, in February, I did have, I think, two or three days left over, which was really shocking to me because for a long time I was like wondering if I was going to get those goals done at all. But I did, and I had a couple days left over, so that was very nice. Um, let's get started with showing you where I'm at with all of my projects, and then we'll do haul afterwards, which is the gift I got for my brother and sister-in-law. But also, I bought some things. A lot of things for me like if you're new here i don't usually show haul because i don't really buy stuff unless i'm actively planning on stitching the project in general but um that kind of went out of the window i was gonna say this month but i think in march yeah this last week i just bought too much stuff to be honest but whatever it just means you get to sh see a lot of beautiful patterns and one day i will get to stitch them hopefully um let's start with mickey as artist which is my big project that's probably gonna take the rest of my life um i got it out of i got it off of etsy stitching it one over one on 25 counts um yeah this is what it will look like when it's finished and hopefully you will now see a picture of what it looked like last time um I never remember what it looked like last time, but this is what it looks like now. <laughs> um, I think I already had this page finished last time and I made a start on this page. And that is basically what I did. Um, I went up here a bit. So this column is mostly filled in. There are a couple stitches missing here because I'm missing that color. So I need to go out and buy it. <laughs> but yeah, I did this section. I filled in over here. And then sometimes took the threads wherever they went as well, of course. Um, I did... Let me check how much I did, because I have it written down here. Uh, I did 1,683 stitches on this in uh, February. And I haven't touched it yet in March. I'm about to touch it now, which is why it's still in its hoop. Um, and I'm now at 6.76%. So, hopefully in March, I will get it to 7%. The goal every month is to do a quarter of a percent, at least. So, yeah. I love this piece. It's, it's one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. Um, this is what it looks like, what I've already done. So, you can see a bit more, like, detailed stuff. But, yeah, I love it. Uh, I'm working on Dumbo right now, which is super fun. Um... I'm getting, it's a mix between a lot of confetti and areas that aren't really block stitching. I guess it would still be considered confetti, but just you can use a whole thread because the colors will just keep going. Like this, this would, I think, still be considered confetti because it's not really like a block stitching. But um, I don't mind that. I actually quite enjoy that as long as it's not like one or two stitches that I can do, but I can just keep going with a thread. I don't mind having gaps in there because i don't um park anyway i do cross country but yeah i love this so much i'm gonna work on this today so very excited about that i really want to go into town to buy the colors i'm missing it's only a couple but i really want to fill this in completely but i don't know when i have time to do that yet and my um local store that sells dmc doesn't always have all the colors so i'm just like having having to cross my fingers that they have it 
and otherwise they will have to order it and it will take a bit longer but yeah i love it um yeah i don't know what else to say about it other than it's my favorite it's so pretty um then what is next this is just fabric this is not a whip this is for hopefully a new start once i finish something at some point um i bought fabric for a different piece but the only sizes i could get um were way too big so i measured and had this left over which was enough for another piece that was in my uh, pile of whips that i want to start one day so they're not whips my pile of patterns i guess one that you will see i keep saying pile because to me it's so much but to most other floss tubers and cross stitches it's probably like barely anything so don't get your hopes up too much but yeah um let's show you my fairy tale collage next if i can find the cover picture which yes i do this is what it looks like it is nine different fairy tale soda stitch patterns combined um i've already completed the nutcracker one and i'm currently working on little red riding hood um so this is what little red riding hood will look like show you a bit more detail um no before picture for this because i just did two blocks and it's very easy to show you without a before picture what i did um so my goal for this every month is to do uh two border blocks or the big middle square and um this last month the before picture was um this basically this was already done and i added these two squares so this is the before picture and this is the now picture and i really enjoyed those it's um very full coverage for this pattern like it's definitely not full coverage but like a lot was filled in in that middle block which is kind of rare for this pattern these patterns because like this is the nutcracker one and you can see like there's nothing like with background or anything and here you have like this little cute house and trees and stuff and yeah i love it it's very cute um how much did i do on this sorry uh, i keep having to switch pages on my laptop to see it um this i did 1219 stitches on this and so yeah i did the little scene with the house and the little flower bouquet uh i am now at oh sorry You're not... i'm so sorry you keep seeing my hand it's annoying me i hope it's not annoying you uh i am now at 37.02 percent of the little red riding hood block not of the entire pattern because um yeah there are nine different patterns that i'm combining so i can only see the percentage of the pattern i'm currently working on but yeah this is what it looks like oh and this is what the nutcracker block looks like in case you're curious that one is already finished i love it uh, i'm changing the border colors to like make them match because i thought it would get too busy if every um single like pattern had different border colors so all the blocks are in like pink borders yeah it's great i am really enjoying it and hopefully this month i will get to do these two these um which are yeah i would be doing either the hunter with his mushrooms and this little basket or i would do this scene with the birds and the tree. but one of those i will do this month yes i I'm looking forward to continuing on this actually i feel like it's been a while since i've touched this i don't remember when in february i touched it but i feel like it was the beginning because i feel like it's been a while then let's see what's next packing order so this will be packing order i it is a kit from lenard i just got this picture off of the internet because the picture on the actual kit is super tiny so you can barely see anything on it um i did a lot of this in february like compared to my other whips probably not that much but compared to my goals i did like two goals in february because the goals on this month are really small and go really fast so um this is what it looked like last time sorry for the crinkling this is the i think the most crinkly one i have and This is what it looks like now. Um, 
this is it's in total but i mean this you've already seen this is what i've worked on so my goal for february was to do half of like the little blue tray shell that was shelf that was left so i did this blue part and then i did this blue part and then i put it away because i had reached my goal of february but then like i said at the end of february i had like two days left over and i decided to pick this one up again because this is the closest i have to a finish and i really want to finish it and start some new things so uh, i did another goal which was to finish this bird so i am a month ahead on when i had planned to finish this which was basically just the end of the year um so this month i will do at least one more bird because it hasn't been spun yet in march and maybe if i have left time time left over i will pick this one up again to get it even closer to a finish because this one is getting close like i can this goes so fast um i have done 1690 free stitches on this this month or in february but i haven't touched it yet in march so yeah this month uh no percentage because it's a paper pattern that isn't full coverage so i have no idea <laughs> how much of percentage twice i've done um it is two over two i have no idea what count it is on because it's just a kit fabric i did look and i'm sure it's somewhere but i couldn't find it easily so i don't know what count it is on but yeah it's really pretty i love it uh, i haven't done any of the back stitching yet on this one but it's only minimal so i figured i just do it all at the end it's only like the eyes and the beaks and stuff but yeah i have about the same amount of shell from this bird to there left on this side and then a couple of birds i think like six birds or so left i don't know the precise number but yeah i'm loving it this will be a gift for my mother when it's done um i'm i don't i'm not really in a rush to finish it what well, finish it for her because i'm planning on giving it to her on her next birthday so i have more than a year still to get it finished because i won't finish it for this birthday i already know that so the plan is just to give it to her next year in april so i have more than a year to finish it for her so no rush there but i would like to start some of my new projects so a little bit of rush there <laughs> yeah um anyway i'm loving that one as well i'm loving all my projects right now which i am very happy with because sometimes you just have a project that you're like Ugh, i don't really feel like doing that but right now i'm loving all of my projects so yay um next is my botanical cell which i have already touched in march so i don't know the exact stitch count i have because i've only written got it written down on my laptop for february i have it on my phone for march but i'm filming on my phone and i forgot to add that to the numbers i have on my laptop so um i will tell you the stitches i did in march and you will also see uh, i will tell you the stitch count number god talking can be difficult sometimes that i did in february and you will also see what i did in march but not how many stitches those were because i don't have it in front of me um no final pick for this because it's a mystery cell though there are a couple more weeks released than what i have but you'll see those when i stitch them i guess lots of people are stitching this one it's the botanical cell by the steady fret um this is what it looked like last time and so in february I finished the border slash frame, like all of it. It was a lot of stitching, like a lot more than I thought it would be. Um, I added the year here that isn't um, originally charted there, but uh, a lot of people in the Facebook group wanted to include the year somewhere. So she did chart the year out for us. And I just decided to put it here and like change the leaves a bit to make it like fit. Um, but yeah, this is what i am doing this is on 18 count it is one over one it is all back stitching it's a black work pattern um and each week a little hexagon will be released so i have done the first six weeks and i did those first six weeks in march so the border and the frame i finished in february and then in march i did those little hexagons so i did 
2546 stitches on this uh, on the frame and that is with all the back stitching counting two stitches as one stitch because I am mostly counting for like games and then half stitches and back stitches two equals one so yeah this is what it looks like right now I am loving it um let me show you a bit more of the hexagons up close because they are really pretty so yeah I am using um I believe it's 319 for the leaves and then three different purples for the flowers so um yeah each purple I've used twice now uh, I don't remember off the top of my head which purples they are but if you're curious just ask and I will tell you because I have it written down um and that's my plan for the entire pattern to like alternate which purple I'm using and to um have it be filled in with all those purples and green yeah I, I'm loving it I don't know what else to tell you uh this is a free sell is it no I don't remember I don't remember if I paid for this or not actually uh either way it is a sell by the steady frets uh, designed by Claire Bradshaw there's also a Facebook group for it I think it's a free sell pretty sure it's a free sell you can just get the weekly releases but don't hold me to that because I may or may not have paid for it I can't remember now but either way I am really enjoying it it's the first sell that I'm doing um and yeah it's really fun uh, I don't know how often I will do a sell, but when I do, I think I would really like it if I could keep up with it. So now I'm basically keeping up with it. I'm a couple of weeks behind, but I started like a month late. So <laughs> I caught up a lot already and the, the frame is the most work. So um, yeah, I think I will just try to do like six hexagons each month as long as I can because eventually I will be caught up and there will be six released when I spin it but yeah I'm really enjoying that it's turning out really beautiful um don't think there was anything else to say about that this is a bit of a longer video already I feel like um yeah next up is Aurora this is my dimensions kit it is my oldest whip uh I'm trying to get it finished not this year but next year so I'm trying to get it to at least 75% this year um by adding at least 2% each month so I am ahead of that 75 if I manage to do 2% each month but that's totally fine because I am not counting any of the French knots or back stitching or counting in that percent number so um oh my laptop just died my laptop is super old and not working well so I have a feeling I won't be able to tell you any more numbers, which is really sad. Because I want to share the numbers with you, but let me see if I can get my laptop working. One moment. Okay, it seems to be working again, so I can tell you numbers again. <laughs> Hopefully it will keep working. Um, so Aurora, Dimension Skits. This is my oldest whip. Um, I think I already told all, you all of that, so I'm just going to show it to you now. This is what it looked like last time. And this is what it looks like now. Uh, you've probably seen quite a bit of difference because I already did it in March as well. I don't remember what I worked on in February. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I did 721 stitches in February. And then in March, I did another 700 or 800. In March, I worked on this dress. And I know in February, I already started with the dress because that in February was the first time I used... The blending filaments, which I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I love the shininess of it in real life. Oh, the needle. <laughs> I was like, why won't you fold open? But the needle is um, piercing through both sides of the fabric. So now you can see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am loving the way this is looking. Um, I've done basically all the shiny in the bottom of the dress. I don't think you can really see it on camera but you can see it in real life and I love it um and yeah I did I worked on this part a lot in um February in March I mean and I don't remember what I worked on in February but I'm sure you will see I think I worked a bit on this maybe I don't know but yeah I am really enjoying the way this is looking now uh I love that you can now see the 
polar bear and the princess and it just makes it look so much more beautiful than just the background because i mean now looking back at it with so much finish you can see that it's like a sun probably a sunrise actually uh, aurora i mean is the goddess of dawn in greek mythology but um when i was actually stitching it it just felt like random blocks of color <laughs> so i love that you can now see what it is meant to be and yeah i think the polar bear is looking so beautiful uh this is done on 18 counts i believe it's all everything just from the kids so kid ada kids from Ada and Fabric is the same thing. Kit Ada, Kit Floss, and it is just done however Dimensions wants me to do it. So sometimes it's six threads over one half stitch, sometimes it's one thread over one full stitch, and everything in between as well. So yeah, uh, I'm loving this. I am at 60% right now, I believe. 61.63%. So yeah, that is going well. Let me put it away again and show you what's next, because I think there's one more project I haven't shown you yet. Um, which is actually a new start for February, which um, broke my only five whips, but I think I already told you that about, about that last time, because technically it was the botanical cell <laughs> that broke my only five whips at a time rule, because I saw that as like, a loophole because it wasn't actually cross stitch so this one is actually cross stitch but this um i had already planned on starting so this is sweet bee it is by stitch rofia i'm doing this in memorial as a memorial for my grandfather who was a beekeeper and he really loved bees and when i saw this it just reminded me so much of him uh i am doing this for my mother i'm going to give it to her i'm pretty sure but it's like in memory of my grandfather. So I started this in April, not in April. Oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with my mind right now. I started this in February and in February I did 1179 stitches on it, but I've also already spun it for March. And in March I did like 2000 stitches on it. I think it's like 1891 stitches on it. So a lot. <laughs> um, and I have now finished two of these blocks. So there's no before picture because it was a new start. But my goal is basically to just finish at least one of these blocks each month. So like this was the one I did in March, which was really big. But like these will be smaller. So we'll see. But uh, right now I have finished two blocks and I am going to show it to you. There are a lot of hanging threads and they're hanging the wrong way around because I tend to stitch from down to up which is why hanging frets and parking are annoying to me but um the colors were just continuing a lot and um i didn't want to tie off the frets when they were going to continue and um yeah they were just outside the hoop so i just left them there but this is what i've done i love it a lot i don't know how well you can see all the back stitching in the words on camera because i sometimes even struggle with that a tiny bit in real life but everything else i absolutely love so like i said this is a stitch rovia i am doing this i believe on 18 counts i have the thingy here let me check nope i'm just doing this on 14 count this is on 14 count it is two over one there are partial stitches in this which i did not realize when I bought it, or maybe I just didn't realize what partial stitches were when I bought it. So if I were to buy it again right now, I would buy an even weave because I don't enjoy piercing the Ada, but it's a great, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So yeah, I am loving this. Uh, it's a lot of block stitching, which just get a little bit annoying sometimes, but then when you do the back stitching, it just transforms it completely. Um, there are like a couple mistakes within the pattern, the most noticeable one is that um, in the mock image, like the mock-up, you have these like swirls on both sides of the word apiary, but in the actual pattern, it's only on one side. So it's like missing here. Uh, I stitch it here anyway, because it should be there, but yeah, that was missing on the pattern. But yeah, you just have to be paying a bit of attention and that's, it's pretty noticeable. Um, 
yeah, this is what it looks like. I have done in total uh, about 2,000 stitches on this. It says 1949. That is, I think, without the back stitching, but I don't know. It's about 25%, according to Pattern Keeper. So, yeah. It's looking beautiful. I love it. It's also making me want to stitch something for my grandmother. But I'm not sure what yet. Um, she was a seamstress. So I think probably something of sewing. But she didn't do cross stitching. So not a cross stitch. Cross stitch. <laughs> uh, not something with like someone cross stitching on it. But I don't know yet. I will finish this first. And then we will think about it. I do want to stitch something for her as well though. Um, and those were all my patterns. So that is my usual updates um i have some more stuff to show you but if you're not interested in seeing my haul then feel free to leave right now but those were all my projects and updates and now for haul so first of all i will show you what my brother and sister-in-law got me uh, i gave them a wish list with like four or so um projects on it um most were just patterns and i had one kit on it and I was pretty sure they were going to buy me the kit, and they did. Um, it is, sorry for the crinkling, because it is still in the package. It is a Riolis kit. It's called Festival in Cappadocia. Um, my father is from Turkey, and uh, we have family. Most of our fa family who lives in Turkey lives in Cappadocia. So, like, I was pretty sure my brother <laughs> was going to buy me this. Um, and they did, yeah. So, uh, this is the Riolis kit. I love it. I've stitched one Riolis kit before. Um, that is in my very first video. If you want to see it, it is, I don't know what it's called, but it's like with elephants in a safari scene. It's beautiful. Uh, it was the first counted cross stitch I actually did. It's not the first one I bought because that's Aurora, but I very quickly gave up on Aurora because it was way too difficult for child me. So, um, the elephant one was the first one I actually did and it was very easy to do i think so real skits are pretty easy um they do use their own threads which i think is a wool mix um it's not the cotton threads from dmc and you don't actually split the threads which um i'm glad i they had like a little cards with that in it because i had forgotten about that and i would be very confused otherwise when i actually started stitching it <laughs> but yeah um you have like five of these cards with the different colors on them uh i'm not going to show you the kits completely but if you're curious about a riolis kit i can just let me know and otherwise i will probably do that when i actually start stitching on it but who knows when that will be uh but yeah this is the kit i got from my brother and sister-in-law and also their kids but their kids are like two and zero so they didn't really have much input <laughs> but um my nephew did hand it to me, which was very cute. Um, yeah, I love it. It just reminds me of like summers as a child, because in this, as a child, we usually went there uh, to visit family. I don't think every summer, but like every other summer. So yeah, it is really pretty, and I can't wait to stitch it. But I also have other hole. So I am going to show you every pattern that I own that I haven't started yet. Some of those will be new. Some of them you will have seen before. I think only two of them you will have seen before because I know I mentioned the Make It Pink Fancy Ladies before. So um, I'm hoping you won't see too much glare because I have them all in like these little sleeve thingies that I will try and show you without glare as much as possible. Or maybe I should just, I'll just take them out because I don't know why you see so much glare on it, but. Yeah, I'll just take them out. So from Make It Pink, um, I have two patterns. I have Ariel, which ah, oh, she's so beautiful. And I have Odette and Odile, who I'm planning on stitching both of them on the same fabric. So this is from Swan Lake and Ariel's from The Little Mermaid, obviously. Um, these you've already seen before. They're not new. I bought those a couple months ago and I am slowly planning which fabrics I want them on and everything. I'm so excited to make these. They're so stunning. Like I am in love with them. They're so beautiful. Uh, 
So yeah, those are new, but I figured I would show them to you anyway, since I'm showing all of my patterns right now. <laughs> then another one, which isn't one of my new ones, but I don't think I've shown you before. Um, so I'll show that it to you now. This is a freebie of um, Little Room in the Attic, I believe it's called. Um, and it is this one. It is uh, Stay at Home. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still a freebie, but you might you can check if you want it. It's really cute. Uh, this is what the piece of fabric I just showed you is for. It's just Ada, so it's nothing special, but this is like leftover from, I think, Sweet Bee. Maybe? No, no, from the botanical cell. Yeah, it was the leftover fabric from the botanical cell. So, um, yeah, this is what I want to stitch on that fabric. It's very cute. It's using two crinecks and I have boarded them both but I've only gotten one of them because apparently they didn't have one and the fa uh, the fabrics not fabrics that's fabric is what it's called in Dutch uh, what is it called why can't I think of the word like the places where they build stuff the mechanical places I don't know the manufacturers that's not the word I'm looking for but that's based that is the correct word as well so the manufacturers apparently can deliver it either so they're expecting it somewhere in March so hopefully I will get it this month the karnik I'm missing but yeah this is what I want to stitch as well it's really cute I want to do all three of them on the same fabric again because I suck at doing small things so every time I do something small I have to come feel like I have to combine multiple small things together I don't know why I just like bigger things like this will probably be one of the smaller things I'll stitch and it's still like three small patterns combined together okay then um I have two Taylor and Cromwell patterns um they had like a 50% off sale for 24 hours either at the end of February or the beginning of March and I had been looking at these patterns for months already and like wanted to buy them <laughs> um, one of which is their 2023 like mystery Broadway cell so this is just a border of course every like block will be filled in um, one of them has already been released and that is either I believe into the woods or joseph and the magical dream coat they're both not muscles i'm too familiar with into the woods i've seen um the movie version of but joseph and the i think it's magical dream coat i have never seen before but i love it um i am planning on changing some stuff i probably won't be stitching on this until all the like blocks are released so i'm planning on potentially changing some blocks to uh hopefully you're still recording yeah I think they are um i'm changing planning on changing some of the blocks to like be able to fit all the scenes i love the most because um i know mean girls and legally blonde will be in the same block so you can choose either the mean girls or legally blonde for that block and those are two musicals that i absolutely love so i want to include both of them so i'm planning on just seeing which block i don't like as much and then just changing the shape of that outline to fit the Mean Girls slash Legally Blonde blog. So yeah, I am so excited about this. It's beautiful. I don't know yet if I want to do it on black or white fabric. I've seen both on the Facebook group they have for their cells. So yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about all of these patterns, which is the issue because most of them are so big as well. And like, I want to stitch all of them, but I also don't want more than six patterns at a time because like now I can do about five days on each pattern a month and I like that I like that I can touch all of my patterns each month um the other one that I bought from Taylor and Cromwell is six um it is the a pack which has all of the queens in it but I'm planning on stitching all six of them on the same fabric surprise um I had been unsure about whether I wanted to do each of the six queens or they also have a version that is one pattern with all six queens and like um, a different song as the background instead of their individual songs it's a sing song they sing together 
I don't remember which one. There, it's either X Wife or Six. If you're familiar with the musical, but I've been unsure about which I wanted because I loved all the queens individually more than I did together. But also, I didn't want to stitch six patterns. But then on a Facebook group I am in, I saw that someone is doing them like this. So like stitching a black border and then fill it, having them all on the same like fabric. And I love that idea. So that is what I'm going to be doing. That is going to be a whole lot of black stitches though. Because um, I think I would probably want about five squares like high and wide. So it's, I think it's like 14,000 black stitches or something. I, I did do the math at some point. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I really need to find a different place to put my phone so that you don't see my hands up close every time I look something up on my laptop. But yeah, just the border alone would be 17,700 black stitches, which is a lot, especially considering I don't really enjoy block stitching. But I just think it would look so beautiful like that. So that's definitely what I'm planning on doing. I also just bought tickets to see Six Lives and I'm so excited six live and i'm so excited about it they're doing a tour through i think europe in general but they're going to visit amsterdam in september i believe and i bought tickets for one of their matinee shows and i am so excited to see it live instead of just listening to the songs on spotify um but yeah i love this and i'm planning on doing that so if you know where i can buy a cone of black let me know. I've seen other people with cones of black for DMC and I think I should buy one if I'm gonna do this because it's like seven almost 18,000 black stitches just a border and like each of the queens also has quite a bit of black in her so yeah it's gonna take a lot of black stitching so if you know a place where I can buy a cone of black let me know um and then heaven and earth also had a sale and honestly it was terrible because i know heaven and earth have sales quite regularly but usually not when i happen to be browsing it so usually i just add stuff to my wish list and i'm like okay when i'm close to finishing aurora and so we'll start my next full coverage pattern i will just keep an eye out on when there's a sale but then i was watching floss tube as always and um it was Oh, what was her name? It's Sweet Bluebell, I believe, or something along those lines. She has a lot of beautiful full coverage patterns, a lot by um, Heaven and Earth Designs. One of which was, I think, she, actually, she has two of them. Uh, two, she has two Nadia Strelkina projects, and I love them. So I had to look at Heaven and Earth and add one to my wish list. And when I did that, I saw Heaven and Earth had a 50% off sale. And I was like, oh, that's so much that's such a big sale like and i love these patterns so much so i ended up buying two uh i ended up buying an adrias 12 kina which is why i was on the site in the first place uh, it is not one that um i think her name is sweet bluebell but I, i'm not sure she's another i believe another dutch stitcher uh, i will link her below yeah i'll just do that so uh, she'll be linked below. Uh, this is not one of the ones she's stitching by Nadia Stokina. She's stitching two other ones by her. But um, when I was looking at Nadia Stokina's, I just absolutely fell in love with this. It's so beautiful. So this is the Dreamer. It is max color, but it's regular size. And yeah, it just looks beautiful. So I bought this. And I also bought a pattern that has been on my wish list for a really long time that is Reading Time by Randall Spangler. Again, regular size mix color. Uh, I've seen quite a few people on Flow Soup doing the mini of this, but I just love the detail the um, regular size mix color gives. So I just had to do that one. But yeah, I love it. It's so beautiful. I love reading. It's so cute. So yeah, I don't know which one I'll do first, but I won't do any of them anytime soon. Um, I will wait until I am finished with Aurora and even then I'm gonna have to choose if I want to do one of the Heaven and Earth designs or the Riolas kit first because in my head I already know that I'm gonna be replacing um, Packing Order and Sweet Bee with um, 
the six one and a fancy lady so like i don't know which i'll replace of which yet but i know that once i finished packing order i will be stitching either the freebie from little room in the attic or ariel or that ordeal so one of those three and when i finish sweet bee um i already know i'm gonna be stitching either the broadway cell of 2023 or the sticks pattern so yeah when i finish aurora <laughs> uh, i will be doing either the riolis kit or one of these heaven and nerves designs but um i will also be finishing the botanical cell this year because it is a yearly that I want to keep up with. And I don't have something in mind to replace that with yet. So, you know, any of these could also replace that. Either way, I won't have a new start for months. Because <laughs> the closest I am to finishing something is Packing Order and Sweet Bee. Both of those are the closest. But I think both of those will still take like at least half a year to finish. So, yeah. Nothing new that I will start soon. But a lot of prep projects that i'm very excited about um i think that's all that i have to tell you i don't think i have anything else uh i hope you enjoyed this video it is a lot longer than my usual video so who knows how long it will take me to edit and upload it because when i do like a 15 minute video like i usually do it already takes me more than a week to like get the energy to figure put it on my laptop and edit and everything so who knows how long it will take this time but you will see this video at some point i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a lovely time stitching and just doing your regular life stuff and you, i will see you again next time thank you so much for joining me in this video bye